Hi Big Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a cornfield located in western Kentucky where a 517 engine horsepower Fent 1050 Vario tractor is working with a 1500 bushel Brent 1596 Avalanche grain cart. This big grain cart team is keeping three combines equipped with 12 row corn heads rolling through the harvest non-stop. The harvest team on the farm includes two 630 engine horsepower 420 bushel John Deere X9 1000 combines and a 473 engine horsepower 400 bushel John Deere S780 combine. During the video viewers will take a ride in the tractor's cab to visit with the operator and talk about the tractor's performance as well as taking a look at the machine's production history, specifications, and list price. But first, let's head up to the field so that you can see and hear all the harvesting action. That's the X9 1000 on loads on the go here with the Fent 1050 and the Brent 1596. You can see we're running just at about five and a half miles per hour, just cruising right through this corn. It's uh, going over 220 bushel, and the combine just really doesn't even know it's there. Just constantly moving this corn. The combine is sending a truck out of the field every 10 minutes, and it just uh, pours it out here in the cart. Sure is a quiet tractor. Right, that is, yeah. So how do you like this uh, with the 1500 bushel cart? Oh, uh, that gives it, gives it going. It's pretty good. No, you definitely really don't feel it back there. No. Just gliding along. Yeah, it's going, it's going pretty good. Better than what I'm used to. <laughs> now, you've run a 1042 in the past, and now this is a 1050 with a Gen 1 cab? Yes, sir. Do you like the updates on this cab? Or? I, I like it. You know, for, for young guy like me and stuff, with all the bells and whistles, it's pretty good. Big upgrade, I can say that. I imagine the CBT is handy for keeping pace with the combine and getting up to speed to get back to the trucks. Oh yeah, it is. You know, I don't have all that gear changing and everything like this. It's just putting foot down and go. Are you able to set the speeds that you want? When yeah, you're, I'm on cruise yeah. control and stuff like that, especially with the two different combines, you know, the X9 job shell much faster corn and everything like that. So I've got cruise control one and two. So my number one is running with the X9s and my number two is running with the smaller combine. 
So I don't have to change much. It's just push of a button. Yep, that makes it nice. It's, uh, those X9s are getting up and moving on. They're unloading about five and a half miles per hour. Yeah, yeah, so it's a big difference, you know, swapping from that one to that one. So, you know, it comes in handy pretty decently. So what kind of speeds do you get up to when you're just trying to move back to the truck? It depends on the load, you know, if it's nice flat running and stuff, I can go 15 miles an hour with a full load on it. You know, and the empty load and stuff coming down, I'm nice flat running 25, 27 miles an hour. You now I can push 30 miles an hour on the road with nothing on it. That's pretty good. That'll, yeah. <laughs> that'll move you along. Yeah. It's just, you know, the tracks keep me back a little bit. Uh, tracks can't go that fast on the blacktop road. But no, she can run, she can run 34 miles an hour. So there's a lot of technology in this tractor. You can control it through the joystick and also uh, everything is touchscreen right next to you to the right. And then you also have foot pedal control as well. Oh yeah, like, you know, like I, I use my joystick to operate all my hydraulics and my cruise control, you know, my idle, my idle up and down and stuff on my engine when I'm offloading the grain cart. So everything is basically controlled, yeah, from this and my whole screen, everything is touch screen from here I've got the digital speedometer uh, which is pretty nice and everything like that but yeah I can control everything the whole track that I control of my my screen mainly but you know the basic operation I just use my joystick and you were running a Challenger 1042 before so several upgrades with this Gen 1 cab uh, on the new Vent 1050 yes and uh, there's big upgrades you know like everything is moved into one spot and it's easy operational and easy to get by then what what you used to you had the joystick and everything as well on the 1042 but it was more scattered around from your cruise control was up and next to your screen and stuff like that so everything has just been more compact and you know on sure. easy access now you can also inflate and deflate your tires right yes. here from the cabin uh, they call it uh, fent grip, so you deflate your tire to a certain PSI when you get into the field. That makes the ride just so much smoother in the field. And once you get back on the blacktop and you need to travel on, on the road, you just inflate it to whatever set PSI you've got going. Uh, yeah. And where is that controlled? Is that just on the it's, screen? or It's controlled from my screen and stuff okay. like that. So once you get to there, it's, it tells you it's fent grip and everything okay. like that. And you've got your road mode and your field mode. So obviously I'm in field mode now. My front tires are on 18.9 psi. And my back tires are on 14.5 psi. Once I go to the road, front is 30.5 psi, and the back is 24.7. That's pretty nice. How long does it change? How long is a changeover from road to field? It varies sometimes, uh, but it takes about between seven and ten minutes to get it fully inflated. Deflate is quick, it's about five minutes to deflate, and yeah. That was pretty cool, so I guess it's got an air compressor built in to yes, be able to do that. Yeah, yeah. it's got a compressor running all that, you know, the brakes and inflating and deflating the tires. S780 keeps you busy, but I imagine these X9s really just keep you rolling all day long. Uh, they do, yeah. They do. Especially if you've got some good running. Yeah, we can see we're going just about five miles per hour here with this one on the opening pass, and they, they can really double the speed over the S series.
two-stage mirrors handy here to see the auger come up and over The Brent 1596 Avalanche is a dual stage auger grain cart. It uses a 20 inch auger across the bottom of the cart to feed the 22 inch auger that unloads 850 bushels of corn per minute. by this joystick right here and the spout can be adjusted to fill the truck in there's a lot of corn pouring out all at once The Fent 1050 Vario Tractor is manufactured by Agco in Machtoberdorf, Germany. It was introduced for model year 2015 and remains a current model in 2023. The tractor is powered by a 12.4 liter MAN turbocharged intercooled 6 cylinder 757 cubic inch engine rated at 517 engine horsepower and 485 PTO horsepower. This tractor is fitted with a 251 gallon diesel fuel tank and a 22.5 gallon diesel emission fluid tank for clean engine solutions. It features the Fent Vario CVT transmission. This constant variable transmission allows a tractor to travel from 65 feet per hour up to 31 miles per hour. The tractor weighs in from the factory at 30,865 pounds and can be field weighted up to 50,706 pounds. According to Fent.com, the list price for a model year 2023 Fent 1050 Vario tractor is $655,743. The farm featured in this video uses their Fent 1050 Vario tractor during the spring and fall. During harvest, the tractor is operating the Brent 1596 Avalanche grain cart, which weighs in at 26,840 pounds empty and can carry up to 84,000 pounds of corn. In the spring, the tractor is equipped with rear triple tires, which add additional flotation and traction in the field as it operates a 52-foot wide John Deere 2230 FH field cultivator. The triple tires also add a nice smooth ride as the implement is run at 8 miles per hour ahead of the corn planter. I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field with this Fent 1050 tractor during the corn harvest. I would like to hear in the comment section below the video if you use a tractor and grain cart on your farm to move the harvest along. If you have appreciated this presentation, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional harvesting content from the channel, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to two more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching.